That's what that one there is about. The gent gentrification in these broke uh, areas like, you know, the Hackneys, the Peckhams and the Brixons and that, that was a little taste of what was coming next. Fortunately, but they didn't take any notes on this. The people that were subjected to gentrification, you know, the people them that live in Hackney and all these places and that, that can't really afford to live in that area no more because of the rise in just general day-to-day -day shopping and that in the area, they got to experience it. But instead of saying to themselves, you know what, let me um, up my money and that, they took the easy route and whatever moved out, but they didn't do nothing. See, you can run away from your problems and that, but they always go and find you. Must make videos about bullies and that. You gotta stand up to bullies, you know. Yeah, you can avoid that little situation there, but when you move to another area, there's gonna be another bully. It might not happen for another few years, but then you you're always gonna have to stand up for yourself. You always you cannot run away from problems. I know someone, they had nothing going on in the UK. They're from London. They decided, I'm going to go to America to wing it, you know. Wing it, you know. No plan, you know. I'm just going to go to America to wing it. Man's at this leaving party, you know. I'm just sitting there, I'm like. A year later, the person come right back to the UK. Not to achieve that damn thing in that time. You are the problem, you know. No, your surroundings. Again, if you're in if you're in Northampton and you're like it's dead, you can't prosper. Yeah, I get it. But you're in London, capital of the well, a capital of England. Things are guaning. There's opportunities and that. It is difficult though, it's a lot of competition and that. But if you can't make nothing of yourself and that, if the problem is you, it's, it's it's not your area. If you're in some fucking uh, slow town in America or whatever, then yeah, move to the big city and that. Move to somewhere where the things are going on and that. But this person wanted to just go to Atlanta. Do you know why? Because Atlanta is supposed to be popping. There's people in the UK, they want to move to Dubai. What the fuck for? Why you want to go to Dubai for? Why? Why you want to go to Dubai for? See, people go there and think about the, the, the good parts about it, the, the, you know, the party life and that. Blood, a woman will, listen, you don't want to go to them countries there. Their laws there is mad. Their laws there is mad. One foot out of line. You don't want to go to them countries there, man. You don't want to, I, I, don't get it too I know someone's going to come in the comment section. Well, you shouldn't be going like this to commit crime. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, fuck, man want a little leeway in that. Man don't want to uh, jump a red light and get shot in my head or something like that. You get me? If I jump a red light, I just want a, part, I want a, 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 a fine or something. Man don't want to get licked down by the police in that. Them, some of them Middle Eastern countries is mad. I don't know about the Dubai 100%, like how strict they are. I know, I know they're strict, though. More stricter than the UK, but I know a man who's from Iran. His missus went out on her own, alone. And you know what Iranian people look like? They got kind of like Arab skin, tan skin. Some of them are, are, are kind of dark, so maybe like a light Indian complexion, but yeah. His wife went out, she was wearing nude. You know, like kind of like brown, brownie nude trousers. From a distance, the police came rolling up to her to arrest her, you know. They thought she was naked. She's like, no. They was like, oh, you know what? It looks like you're naked. So they arrested her, you know? They took her to the police station. The man had to go and get his wife and bring clothes for her. Because you're portraying the image of being naked, you know? So you're not even naked. It's just it, perception. Man, and these are the countries you want to go out to? You're fucking mad. You're fucking mad. Me, I've got a fucking studio flat in Egypt. When I was off during the COVID period, I was thinking, yeah, go out there. I was like, no, fuck that, man, come to my senses. You think I want to go to uh, one of them foreign man countries where there's trigger happy and that? 
You, you didn't hear what they was doing with the hotels and that. I mean, they're doing it in other countries as well. But the man they're standing outside hotels with M16s, you know, not letting anyone leave the Rascal Hotel. I'm not putting myself in that position there. I'm not having no one. What? That's basically kidnap. That's basically fucking kidnap. Anyway, the rise in house prices and that, I'm sorry, um, day to day living, yeah, is here to stay. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna work overtime? Are you gonna educate yourself so that you know you can go out and get a higher paying job? See, this is people's problem. People don't wanna have to evolve and adapt with the times. People just wanna be able to be on 40 grand for the rest of their life, coast along through life, doing their nine to five and everything be the same. Nah, 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 nah. Like I said yesterday in my live stream, hills and valleys, ups and downs. Nothing is just straight, yeah? Nothing is just plain sailing. If you're struggling in that, to do day-to-day -day living, you only have yourself to blame. Because Drake ain't moaning about it. Please, some, someone send me a link of Drake moaning about gas prices or the prices of vinegar or... You get me? Petrol prices going up. So, someone showed me a video where Bill Gates was moaning about the cost of water. They, oh, oh, they built a, a Waitrose around the corner, so I, I, you know, I can't afford Waitrose and that. Nah, you know why? Because they might have made something of themselves, so they don't need to worry about money. If they can make something of themselves, you can make something of yourselves. Stay away. Done, man.